Alright guys, um, been talking uh, with another prospector, Mohammed, talking about um, possibly tacking some old uh, tailings piles. And I was driving out of where I am, I come across these here. So old diggings. Yeah. Sort of looks like a bit of a clay based material. Yeah. Now, what you sort of notice with these things is they've dug down looking for that gold and they've piled a lot of this stuff up against the trees. So I don't know if they're looking for sort of pockets of gold or what the go is, or as you can see here, maybe these trees are a bit older. And you've got to wonder to yourself, did they miss anything? Have people been over these with detectors? Um, you know, what's the go here? You can see, People had a little scratch here and there, like just over there. Um, we'll go this way, I'll look through here. Now, someone didn't just come along here and decide I'm going to dig all here, I'm going to dig all there, I'm going to dig all there. Obviously, they're testing. But to have so many different test holes, all right. And this is the thing, I have so many different test holes, all three, because this wouldn't have been easy work, it's been hard work. And then you come across a section like this one, where we've done a big trench. To me, that tells me that they tested all around here. They still dug a fair bit of material, but for whatever reason, they trenched this out, found the best gold here. Now that could mean down that direction towards the creek could be a nice line to follow could have been the natural runoff before they've uh, hacked everything but material is like clay they could have brought it up here to process even who knows I might um, take a few samples and see if we can get lucky all right um some people may ask where do i um take samples from a tailings pile a few different thoughts well, it's been 100 150 years since uh someone's been digging here that these tailings might have been dug so possibility is it could have rolled down a bit of gold but I'd try the top first. The only reason I'd try the top first is that's probably the last stuff to dug out. And they've either hit nothing and they've stopped or the gold started dropping out. So, two buckets full. Over here there's some slightly different coloured material. A lot redder. What I might do is get a third bucket and just fill that third bucket with the red stuff. So, I've tried here, I've tried down here. We'll see which one pays off. G'day guys, um, as you've seen, I decided to uh, take a few buckets home and test. So, I ended up with four buckets. I um, got two from up the top and two from down the bottom. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just screening it down. So that's, um, I'll, I'll do this. So I'll do this. So just dry screening them. Um, there's a lot of material here that's, I don't know if it's hard pack or clay, it's just um, all sticking together now over time. So. 
just this first screen. A larger one of these metal screens. Um, and then the smaller one underneath. So, these screens are perfect for these um, buckets I get from Bunnings. They fit perfectly in there. You can um, screen pretty well. So, pretty much that's everything that was above. That larger of the two screens. That's everything that um, got through to the second screen. And that's what got through um, the small screen. I think that's probably enough. Um, just going to give it a bit of a crack, I suppose. And just see, so I've got three quarters of a bucket, you could say. Nearly a full bucket of rocks that are above. Now, these aren't washed. I could wash them down. There could be a bit of gold sticking to some of the clay. And if there's any little nuggets, um, they might be in here. We will uh, see what happens when I pan this stuff down. All right, um, just to throw a cat amongst the pigeon, what I did was with the very fine stuff that I had, I just ran it through. Uh, I don't know what this is, it's like for a sink, sort of strainer, very fine, reasonably fine, should be able to tell there. Um, so I ended up with a fourth bucket now with this material in it. And I reckon I might give that one a crack first and um, see what the results are. All your fine gold should be in here and whatever I wash off that, but just in there. If I'm going to get some nice bits, I reckon they're going to be there rather, you know, if, if I've got bits of gold that are bigger than this uh, mesh, I'll be shocked. More likely to find some pieces in there. But I really think I'm only going to find gold in this one here. But let's see what happens. Alright guys, um, I was going to pan this stuff out. And just thought I'd bugger it. Head out down the little creek. Um... Just got big buckets over here and I'm just going to start with this larger rocks that didn't get through that first screen and drop them in. This will uh, wash them down as much as uh, anything and hopefully if there was any gold sticking Now, this loose I can shovel into, so hand scooping like this isn't going to be um, a problem. Probably won't clear the best, but um, it should be alright. Should do the trick anyway. I'll um, keep feeding these, and then um, when I get to the finer stuff, obviously I'll um, run it a little bit differently. Really need a lot more water flow, but what do you do? Wasn't going to set the high banker up today. Just want to quickly do this for about five or ten minutes. All right, I'll uh, finish doing this and um, we'll see what happens. All right, run um, the larger gravels. This is the smallest stuff here. Now I can uh, feed it nice and slowly. You want to try and um, get it over across the whole sluice. I uh, moved it a little bit as well just to get a bit more water flow. But I'll keep feeding and um, hopefully showing you some gold at the end. Alright, down to... Um, the last bucket 
This is all the very fine powdery. All the, the stuff that went through um, that uh, screen that I had. Uh, like a kitchen strainer, you could say. So, I don't know if you could notice, but I've got an indicator map, a V-map, just in here. I'll just use a couple of clamps to clamp it down. I'm not really seeing any indicators there. Some people may say, oh, why aren't you using wet material? Uh, you know, and you probably should, but I don't have the time. I'm just doing this, uh, just on my way to work. So, I'm just trying to get this slam through pretty quickly and you know doing a tailings pile like this is a hit, bit of hit and miss you don't know if it's been done before and you're more in the hope that they've um chasing the hardest stuff well, not the hardest stuff, the largest stuff. And this fine stuff where you have to mess around in the clay, they've just gone bugger it. But um, as you can see, I'm slamming it pretty through, through pretty hard, but this is an eight inch river sluice, so. I've shoveled in this a lot of the time as well, so. But um, I'll finish this bucket off. And then I'll um, hopefully reveal some colour. Alright, um, pull the V-mat out. Absolutely nothing, so that's not a good sign. And yeah, these are cons and I should probably have a pan that I'm panning into, but I'm not going to bother. The other thing is, this is the little mine lab pan you get in the kit. It's not the big one, so... quickly pan this stuff out still got to be pretty careful but I'm actually um, probably not expecting to find any gold to tell you the truth oh, it's probably low enough oh well, I've got a bit of gold not a lot so we'll um And these larger rocks out the back where there's no riffle just go slowly just in case a little bit of gold come through um, looks like a little bit of black sort of sand you could say Uh, should easily be able to see about four pieces. Well, not too bad. Now, what, what can I say about the ground I worked? Is it worth digging? Um, I probably got a, one bit that was a little bit bigger than that before and I just did two handfuls quickly and I thought, shit. This isn't too bad, this ground. Um, there's some little fine bits of gold there as well. Now, as I said, this is a bit of hit and miss doing the tailings. Um, but honestly, for how easy it was to dig the ground, um, it's pretty easy to get some nice bits of gold. Um, bastard to process it. As I said, I spent a bit of time screening it all down. But I'm still happy with that. That's not, um, that's not too bad. So, it's a place possibly where I can just go quickly dig 10 buckets in a bit, probably 
10 minutes, if that. Um, so digging time would be fantastic. Screening light. I am in the process of building a trommel and when I start um, actually constructing it all, I'll start putting some videos up. And I'm gonna build a trommel that um, it's a bit larger than the ones that I see on the market. Um, they're only about a five inch little trommel. And for me, that's too small. And then I'm not going to go out and spend three and a half thousand on something about the size that I want. I think that's just way, way overpriced. But it's something I want to do and something that I'm going to, um, wanting to run as a dry trommel as well. So I can go out to a tailings pole smash it down pretty quickly through the trommel, take the finer material and um, go to a creek or somewhere and uh, run it where there's some water. But uh, there you go. So they did leave stuff behind, but it's, yeah, look, you might get lucky and find a nice bit that they bypassed. And it just depends if they were just digging with the... Um, Looking for the larger gold, digging a reef out, or digging up um, some some of the um, like what would you call it, the host rock, and getting little seams of quartz and stuff like that, and then you know the odd bit got through. But they looks like they're pretty proficient, you know. That was probably. Look, honestly, probably about three and a half for those buckets that are used from Bunnings. And they weren't unscreened, and it was just random digging. Two from the top, as you've seen, and two from down the bottom with the redder material. All right, I'll leave it there. I uh, hope you've had a good Christmas. And uh, hope to get out um, reasonably soon. All right, till the next time. See you all later. Alright oh, guys, um, I thought I'd just whack this on the end. What I decided to do was head down from the tailings down to the creek and probably walked about 50 metres down the creek from where the tailings that I've seen or the diggings up the top until I found an area where I thought some gold might get caught. That's one of the uh, buckets. Pretty much got roughly the same amount of material. I thought I wanted to try and keep it as even as I could. Um, you know, there's no point digging 20 buckets from one area and then not 20 buckets from another. So it's about the same deal, about three and a half buckets of gravels that aren't um, screened. And I'll just feed them in and we'll see what's better. Is the creek better? Is um, is an old tailings pile better? I'll run this, I won't film this. Um, you know, there's no real point um, filming me running. What are these bigger rocks though? Because um, I didn't want to say screen this down when I didn't screen the tailings. So, as you can see, some nice big rocks in there. I'll run it and um, we'll see if we can uh, see any indicators and see what the results are. And you can make up your own opinion on what's the better spot to try in the creek or in the old tailings. All right, there you go. Definitely um, better spec count than um, what I got out of the tailings. So you've got to see the finer little gold there as well. So that's not bad. I'll uh, do the river sluice and um, hopefully be showing you some more colour. All right, um, not a lot more gold. Just, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to say it. 
You may not even be able to see that on screen. Very difficult. Um, so just some fine stuff. There's there's a fair few fine bits in there, but it's just very fine. All right. So tailings of creek. Well, today the creek had a bit more gold, but um. Maybe in the next video, or in a video I'll do in the future, I'll um, show you how to improve your chances um, at the tailings, and, I, and also in the creek, using some methods. But um, look, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've already done an ending, you know, before all this, before running the uh, the river buckets, so. Uh, have a happy new year and I'll um, look out for some more videos, I suppose, in the new year. Until the next time, I'll uh, catch you all later. Alright guys, um, I've run uh, all my buckets, so they're just over there. One thing that I can say straight up is... I can see gold in the indicator. I don't know if you can see it there. Well, um, I'll pull that out first, like I did before, and see uh, see what's in there. And um, the only one thing I will say the the stuff at the tailings was. Um, reefy gold really reefy really rough um and and pretty chunky like it wasn't big but it was chunky and reefy so it wasn't too bad i, I can definitely see more specks here than i did the first time or well, the last time i seen nothing all right i'll pull this out and show you in a pan <laughs> 